The lyrics to this song are, the troops are settling in for the night. Wonder what the morning will bring. No one knows if we are wrong or right. Wonder what the morning will bring. Hi, I'm Carter Roberts, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm in seventh grade. I am part of a speech organization called ICC, short for Institute for Cultural Communicators. I will be giving my informative speech on the Battle of Gettysburg for you. That song I just played and the lyrics I recited were written during the Civil War, and it paints a picture of how the soldiers felt about the long and deadly fight they faced each day. Although they were all miserably tired, they continued to fight with hope that their country would soon embrace their way of life. On July 1st, 1863, many of these soldiers who had faced the most treacherous battle fought on U.S. soil, the Battle of Gettysburg. By June of 1863, over 200,000 soldiers were casualties of the Civil War, and there was no end in sight. Most of the fighting had taken place in the South, but Robert E. Lee, the Confederate General, boldly decided to take the war to the North. The Confederates moved out of Virginia and planned to take over the main Union supply station in Northern Pennsylvania. Along the way, a small fight between two small cavalry units broke out in Gettysburg. Robert E. Lee, instead of moving all troops out of the situation, and on into the intended target, sent 65,000 troops to aid the Confederate soldiers there. This would prove to be a devastating mistake. July 1st, 1863, day one of the most treach deadly battle fought on U.S. soil has begun. Union soldiers know they can't hold out after taking a loss of 9,000 men. Realizing they needed reinforcements, they wisely retreated into a nearby hill formation called Cemetery Ridge. They then entrenched themselves and waited for what the morning would bring. The Confederates, instead of pursuing their foe immediately into the hills, chose to hold off until the next day. This decision, among others, cost them precious time which allowed the Union soldiers to dig in and gain the advantage of numbers. The Union soldiers have now formed a line, which resembles a fishhook across Cemetery Ridge. It is July 2nd, and most of the body is concentrated to the south at Little Round Top and Devil's Den. Major Daniel Sickles, a wealthy political figure, and gained his regiment by influence and money, broke the fish of formation by abandoning his fortifications and pushing his line. This created a half-mile gap, which offered the Confederates an opportunity to break through. Although this created heavy Union casualties, the 5th Corps Infantry reinforced the position, stopping the Confederates from breaking the Union line in half. Day two ends with an opportunity lost by the South and disaster averted by the North. The final day of the Battle of Gettysburg, July 3rd, 1863. Robert E. Lee batters Union lines with heavy artillery fire. Union General Meade then calls his artillery to silence and tricks Lee into thinking he had crippled his defense. The most famous charge of Gettysburg Pickett's charge is disastrously ordered by Lee. The Confederates must cross one mile of land without being able to fire back at their enemy. 7,500 out of 12,000 soldiers are led to immediate death. And Robert, the catastrophic rebel losses require the rebel retreat, and Robert E. Lee is faced with defeat. Months later, Abraham Lincoln dedicated a national cemetery to the 50,000 soldiers who gave their lives during this battle. 
and spoke these words. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us a living rather to be dedicated to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. <laughs>